Welcome to neutral side action, and we're just about ready for kickoff. And now the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Both teams have sent their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. It's fielded at the two. They'll bring him down at the 27. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. He's to the 40. And he is drilled at the 42. That was a great call. Yeah, here you see the draw play at its best. The tailback got good blocking up front and was able to pick up a bunch of yards. From their own 42-yard line, first down. Five wide. Quick pass. He's taken down at about the 37-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. From the 37-yard line, first down. Makes it to the 27. This is the kind of steady, strong drive that coaches love to see. Right now, they're firing on all cylinders. And a quick throw. Tackle made at the 24-yard line. They didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. From the 24-yard line, second down. Oh, and he had some steam on that throw. Touchdown, Hokies! And he adds the extra point. A nice six-play, 73-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. So our score, 7-0, and he's taken down at the 24. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He's on the run. He's wrapped up for the sack. You have to keep an eye on this guy, especially during passing situations, because he does a great job of getting to the quarterback, as we saw right there. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. These guys just don't seem to be on the same page, and they're going to have to be if they expect to win this game. Here's third and 11. Ball on the 23. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. They'll bring him down right around the 24-yard line. The D sniffs out the screen pass and holds him to a short game. Contain, contain, contain. That's the only way you can shut down a guy with 4-2 speed. He's tackled at the 48-yard line. These guys came up with a touchdown on their last drive, and they'll be hoping for another six on the board here. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. He's tackled at the 46. A yard, maybe two on the carry. That makes it second and eight.
from the 46-yard line. It's second down. Virginia Tech is up by a touchdown. Fires out to his receiver. Knocked out of bounds at the 39. Scrambling around. They'll make the sack. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. He found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. And that'll be three and out. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. He's into the open field. And they push him out at the 26-yard line. From the 26-yard line, it's first down. Got some open field. Inside the 10. Touchdown! I can guarantee you'll be seeing that one in the highlight reels. What a great, great run. A real display of all the tools that he brings to the table. And he tacks on the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He'll return it from the six. And down he goes at the 30-yard line. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. And he's taken down around the 31-yard line. going on there those kind of plays will not work against this defense you can be sure of that from their own 30 yard line third down rifles it left the defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Brought down at the 38-yard line. The Hokies really could have uh, overlooked this team today, I think, very easily, but they haven't done that so far. No, you can't take anybody too lightly, and they've obviously not done that. They come out of the gate today and really put a lot of points up on the board. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Hands it off. And he carries the ball for a nice game. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He scrambled. They bring the quarterback down. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. Now he tries to buy some time. Tackle around the 44-yard line. There are three quarters remaining. Virginia Tech's lead is two touchdowns. And 
we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. From the 15, he makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Steps out of bounds, right around the 32-yard line. Two-yard line. Now it's going to be fourth down. Nice defense. That was picture perfect. Three and out. Good series for these guys. That makes it fourth and four. And he shoved out of bounds at the 32. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. And he gets a yard on the run. Second and nine. Ball on their own 33. They come out in a five-wide set. He steps out right around the 36-yard line. That's good for game three yards. Third down. Hey, check my 46. Check my 46. Watch, watch, watch. He's scrambling. He gets sacked on the play. That makes it fourth and twelve. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. Room around the corner. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. Well, you know the offense would like to generate more than they did on their last possession. Throws it in a hurry. Brought down around the 37-yard line. Receiver. The ball just sailed on him, and he knows it. He'll get it next time. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 37. Got it. And he goes down quickly. Scrambling. And they make the stop at about the 29 yard line. Fourth down. They're going to try a long field goal here. He gets it up and it's long enough. And he got it. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. 14 3, Virginia Tech. Marshall, the kick. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. 
He's taken down at the 26. Virginia Tech's offense really had a goal in that first quarter, but they're starting to struggle here in the second half. Well, because they played so well early in this game, even though they have been struggling, they still have a pretty comfortable lead. Now let's see if they can hold on to it here as we get ready for the second half. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Play action. Now he's going to run and watch out. And he's tackled at the 38. From their own 38-yard line. First down. He's taken down at the 48. Virginia Tech just took their first time out. And he stopped behind the line. I'm not sure what happened, but one of the players is hurt. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Fights forward to around midfield. Nice first down there on the option. Yeah, the quarterback does a nice job here of pitching it out to the tailback. The Hokies saw one of their top players going down earlier, but it looks like he's going to be able to get back in there. He's going to try and scramble. Room around the corner. He's at the 40. Tackle made at the 33-yard line. You know that saying, get your keys out because we're on a drive? This offense right now is on a drive. I mean, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 33. There's a strike complete. He gets hit out of bounds at the 30. That makes it second and eight. They'll spread the field with five wide. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry, and he hits him hard at the 22. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Slings it. Nice play to set up first and goal. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back to pass. This is the ninth play of this drive. And they'll bring him down behind the line. He's on the run. And he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. the PAT. A 10-play, 74-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. The score now, 21-3. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. He's out of bounds around the 26-yard line. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 26. Zips it to the back. They'll bring him down around the 34-yard line. I like how the offense is using the pass to get him involved. He's explosive, and you just want to get the ball in his hands. Caught, and that's a first down. He's tackled at the 50-yard line. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. Quickly to the tight end. 
and he tackles him hard the 39 yard line scrambling around and he's taken down at the 33 Almost intercepted there. That's going to do it for the first half, and they're just trying to keep this thing close. 21-3, Virginia Tech. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, that is more important than turnovers. Now, so far, neither defense has been able to force one in this game, but you never know when that opportunity is going to come up. No, and people look at turnovers and they assume that it's luck a lot of times, but a lot of times it's preparation. It's being able to know that when certain teams line up like South Carolina back in 2002 in a certain formation where it's Tucson, Oakland, Stud, and they got three receivers to my side, and I know it's a rollout pass. As a defensive end, I widened my stance a little bit, came up field, hit the quarterback as he was throwing it. Next thing you know, the ref signals his hands up in the air, and you get six points for it. So you can definitely be prepared, and that's how you force those turnovers. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nestler and Kirk Herbstreit. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He just drills this one. Whoa, he just took a licking. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. He scrambled. Tackle at the 30-yard line. That makes it 33. scramble down he can't get away from the pressure coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better and that's three and out nothing going on that series He makes it to the 42-yard line. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Here he goes. And he's leveled at the 47-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 47-yard line. Nice run there as they work the outside. That's good for a game of five yards. That brings him second and five. down and he's going to get sacked loss of three yards that'll bring up third and eight the 
Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 37. Three down, three down. Hey, check my 26. Check my 26. Going deep. Lays it out there. Missed him. He'll learn he doesn't always need to use his cannon. Sometimes precision is more important than power. He'll try to change the field position and especially not get it to the end zone. He was able to deaden that kick perfectly, and he gives them a long field to work with. The last time this offense had the ball, it was three and out. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. He's on the run. He gets to about the 27-yard line. to buy some time. He's wrapped up for the sack. That makes it second and 14. They come up to the line here. It's second down and 14 after the sack. Makes it out to about the 36. Six-yard line. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Excellent open field tackle. A man down, and he's in some pain right now. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He's scrambling. Dives forward. Gains his way to the 30-yard line. From the 30-yard line, it's first down. Well, after that injury, we'll get to see the backup quarterback here. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. We're at play number nine of this current drive. That makes it second and ten. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. complete he's got space to work that's a great tackle at the 19. and they get him in the backfield for a loss that brings up second and 13. From the 22-yard line, second down. Herbie, we saw this guy go to the locker room a little bit earlier with that injury. It's pretty important to this team, and uh, they're going to have to find a way to work through this one without him. And down he goes around the 11-yard uh, line. That's 
three down and one to go. The Hokies with an 18-point cushion. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Looking for six, and he got it. Touchdown. How was he able to find the end zone on that score, Kurt? Well, you know what, Brad? This is great execution here by the offense. The quarterback seems to be getting into a little bit of a rhythm now. They'll go for two in this situation. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He's got it for two. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. Gets out to about the 21. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Now he's scrambling. He's out to the 30. Brought down at the 35-yard line. From their own 35-yard line. First down. Field. The defense was playing run all the way right there, and it paid off for him. He airs it out. Incomplete. Too bad that'll go down as an incompletion because he made a really great play on the ball to make the catch. Well, I think he came down with it, but from up in the booth, it's hard to tell. So the officials taking a look at this play to see if the receiver got a foot in bounds. Regardless of the outcome of this review, I still think that this guy made an excellent catch. After, After review of the, the play, the ruling on the, on the field, field is reversed. reversed. So they'll overturn the call and rule this a completion. There was a bad call made on the field, but they were able to fix it because of the replay. This is exactly why the Booth Review is a great thing for college football. Caught with room to work, and they make the stop at the 32-yard line. From the 32-yard line, it's second down. Complete. He's got room. And he shoved out of bounds right around the 26-yard line. Gain of six on the pass, and that's good for a first down. Heads-up play by the quarterback to find his receiver in traffic and get the ball into his hands. And the quarterback didn't waste any time getting rid of that one. He took the snap, and he threw it right out there. Hand off, and he's met in the backfield. When this guy gets his arms around the ball carrier, I don't care who it is. He's not getting away. From the 26-yard line, Second down. Just under three to go in regulation. And he's tackled right around the 16-yard line. Tenth play of the drive. First down.
about the 11. From the 11-yard line, it's second down. He gets out to about the 9-yard line. A yard, maybe two on the carry. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Marshall's going to take their first time out of the half. Tackle made at about the seven-yard line. A great stop there, and that's going to bring up fourth down. Before you start to blame the offensive line, really give this defense some credit. They just did a great job. It's up, and it sails through the uprights. Virginia Tech is ready to kick it away. He'll return it from the three, and he's tackled at the 23. They punched it in for six on the last series. Can they do it again? He delivers. That's incomplete. Wow, Brad, you talk about having a strong arm. Next time, though, he might want to work on the accuracy. That makes it second and ten. Second down and ten to go. Ball in the 23. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. He passes it. Almost intercepted. Hey, that's a heads-up play there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. Fires out quick. It's picked off. Down the sideline. There he goes. Touchdown, Hokies. Big-time touchdown by the defense, and that should do it. And he tacks on the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He'll return it from the one. Virginia Tech's defense has just been awesome here in the fourth quarter. And the thing that's really stood out to me, Brad, is that when they've needed the stops, they've gotten it and gotten the football back to their own offense to put points up. Let's see how the defense responds now, coming off that big play just a moment ago. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. First and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. He airs it out. Finds his receiver who's all alone. They'll bring him down around the six-yard line. That last catch gives him 100 yards receiving. you got to love this quarterback-receiver combo. Talking to these guys before the game, they told me they spend about an hour after every practice perfecting the routes. It sure shows. And he throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. He goes out of bounds at the two. So here we go. It's third and goal from the two-yard line. Under a minute left. Touchdown, Marshall! And he adds the extra point. 
So that's a five play 78 yard drive and a touchdown as a result. You, know, you can throw the football as well as these guys can. You don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient in throwing the ball. They'll bring him down at the 44 yard line. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. He's tackled around the 34-yard line. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 34. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. This one's in the books and our final score, Virginia Tech 31, Marshall 18. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.